So today I'm headed to Ikea right now, y'all. Believe it or not, I've never been to Ikea before. A lot of people keep telling me I need to go. They're like, bruh, Ikea got some real good food. I'm like, bruh, it's a furniture store, right? Why would they have good food at a furniture store? But apparently it's hidden. I don't know, I've never been. I'm gonna zoom out there real quick. I'm gonna see what's good with the Ikea food. Y'all, Ikea must be bigger than I thought, bro. Cause even the road was named after Ikea, bro. Like, this place must be lit. Not gonna lie to y'all, bro. The Ikea is big as heck, bro. Like, I've never seen nothing like it. Everything's bigger in Ikea, bro. Like, look at these parking spots, bro. You can fit a tank in this bitch, bro. Not gonna lie to you. Hey, bro, I got a question. You been to Ikea before? Yeah. What you think about it, man? It's cool. It's cool? They got some good food? Uh, food's all right, yeah. I ain't never been here before. What should I get? The meatballs are good. Meatballs? Uh, they got some good dessert as well. Oh, for real? The salad's actually pretty decent as well. That as well? Yeah. I might gotta try all of that. I see, look, people up there dining and stuff like that, like it's a real restaurant. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's see what the IKEA hype's about, y'all. So apparently downstairs they got to-go food, and then upstairs they got like a legit restaurant or something. So we gonna go upstairs and see what's good with the restaurant food. So far, what you thinking about the IKEA? I just walked in. I know, but so far, like walking into the joint. It's huge. Yeah, it's I, pretty I mean, big. You can get lost in here. You definitely can. Me either. Look. We gonna go ahead, we gonna grab some pans, y'all. Might see some more cooking vids real soon, not gonna lie to y'all. They advertising the wrong shit. Who the fuck is just cooking mushrooms with nothing in it, bro? That's weird. And then they advertising mushroom sandwiches. The makers of Ikea must be shroom heads. That's why else they got mushrooms on everything. I be peeping it, bro, the subliminal messages and shit. Mushrooms everywhere. They hippies. Y'all, that's a good deal right here. Three pots for only 20 bucks. You can't beat that. Shit, this is better than Walmart. <laughs> $2.99 for drying match, y'all. So far, the Ikea got like a real chill vibe, y'all. They got like this classical music playing, makes you want to fall asleep. And it's just I'm catching a vibe, you know what I mean? I'm walking through. I'm looking at these plates. These plates is looking real sweet. Shayla over here picking up everything she sees. No, I'm really not. How much is them? I don't know. $17.99? That's a good ass deal. I might go ahead and grab me some new bed sheets, y'all. If you guys are sexually active, always make sure you get white bed sheets. The reason why I say get white is because if you get a dark color, you know what I'm saying, that white sticky sticky is gonna be all over that motherfucker. And you know what I'm saying? And people gonna come in, they gonna see that, they gonna be like, ew, this nigga nasty, this nigga got that sticky icky icky on his sheets, you feel me? But if you get the white, it's gonna blend in, people gonna come visit, they gonna sit on your bed, and they ain't even gonna know, you feel me? They gonna sit right up on that cum. 99 cent for the soap dispensers. Bruh, if you wash with these, bro, you is dirty as heck. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, I'm not judging you if you use these, bro, but there's no way to wash that thing, you feel me, and get all the germs up out of it. So, you basically wash it with funk from last year. Because most people that use those, they don't change those out, bro. They got the same funky ones sitting on the faucet, bro. Dirty as shit. Are you, you're the guy from TikTok, right? That's me. What's good with you? Dude, oh my God, the most legendary hater. <laughs> Hey, what you think about, what you think about the Ikea? Oh, shit. So this is where they getting them blue light bars that they putting in all the street lights. I watched some conspiracy theories about them lights, y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I know, you feel me? Because I got a platform. I ain't trying to, you know, get killed. So I'm walking upstairs right now to the restaurant part, y'all. We gonna see what's up with this food up here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it's smelling pretty good for a furniture store. Food smelling good. They got this joint set up like the hospital. See what's up with it. So like they got some breakfast, y'all. And they got some lunch. I think they still on their breakfast menu, y'all. So we're gonna see what we can get for breakfast. Sheesh, look at them sticky buns. Ain't gonna lie, sometimes I make my bitches' buns look like this. A little bit of sticky icky icky. You know what I mean. These wraps look kinda good too, y'all. So I went ahead, I got some mac and cheese, some french fries, and you see we got some chicken tenders. They ain't really have a whole bunch of stuff. They had some salmon, but the salmon look like shit, bro. Honestly. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't feed that shit to my dog, so why would I eat it? So it's 847, and we got all of this. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Just based off looking at it, it doesn't look like it's gonna be hitting like y'all made it sound. Everybody was like, bro, you gotta try the, the Ikea food, the Ikea food hit. But looking at it, bro, it looks worse than the hospital food, honestly. Looks worse than it. 
So the macaroni and cheese is cold. Doesn't really have a good taste to it. And you could definitely tell that it was frozen and just heated up in the microwave. Extremely low grade of macaroni and cheese, y'all. We got some french fries and some honey mustard. You already know you need the honey mustard. So the honey mustard is pretty good. I'm liking the taste of the honey mustard. Even though the fries have been sitting, they're still pretty crispy. The fries ain't bad. So if I was coming here to shop, I would definitely grab the fries if I was hungry and I really needed some food to like hold me over. I would grab the fries. Chicken tenders. So around the chicken tender look kind of slimy right here. I don't know if you can see it. Like right here, look. Super slimy. They don't taste bad, but like the sliminess on that part, it kind of like turns me off a little bit, makes me not want to eat it. They're not terrible though. But I've definitely had way better chicken tenders than this. They almost remind me of the Bojangles chicken tenders. Just a lower grade, if that makes sense. Like they're, they're similar, but this is low tier. You know what I mean? They tried to replicate it. They didn't do a very good job. The fries are W though. I'm gonna have Kailani try the macaroni and cheese because she's a baby, you feel me? She loves macaroni and cheese. So if she doesn't like this, it's an issue. Mm, it's, it's good. It's good? You barely even tasted it, honey. Come on, take another bite of that. Why don't you want another bite? A little bit too much. I don't believe you. So why are you spitting it out? If it tastes good, why are you spitting it out? I changed my mind. I don't like it. You changed your mind? Take one more bite. No. Even a baby doesn't like it, bro. That tells you right then and there it's not good. You feel what I'm saying? Just eat a little bit more. Try the chicken tender. Try the chicken tender, baby. Good. It's yummy. You like it? It's better than the mac and cheese? Okay. And pizza. You want pizza? Yeah. Alright, let's go downstairs and get some pizza. So apparently downstairs they got foods to go, which is like the pizzas and all that type of stuff. We're going to see what's up with that. I see why this was only $7. You get what you pay for, and it's shitty food, you know what I mean? At least she enjoyed the chicken tenders, y'all. I'm convinced that YouTubers just lie for content, and they say that everything's good because they want sponsorships, bro. Because I've seen some reviews where people say that the food here is top tier, bro. And there's no way in hell a fucking furniture store got top tier food, bro. No way in hell. It's crazy to me, bro. Maybe the pizza's gonna be top tier. Let's see. This is what I need right here, y'all. Full body mirror action. You feel me? They want 179 for it though. 179, but this mirror is sweet. Y'all know what's crazy? Doing self-checkout is pretty much like working at the store. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's like literally cashiers here getting paid to do the checkout. But we doing it for free right now. You feel me? All this stuff and only pay $28, but that's a good deal. Alright y'all, part two, we had the to-go food. I'm gonna let y'all know what's up with this to-go food real quick. Start order. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we gonna do a little sticky bun, boom. You already know the vibes. We gonna do the sticky bun. Comes with a coffee. See what's up with that. Bro, I really wanted to try this marinated salmon baguette, but it's out of stock. Damn! We gonna do some pizza. Uh, let's add that. We gonna do two slices. My daughter wants some pizza too. And then we gonna do a veggie dog, y'all, because I'm trying to watch my weight. We gonna do a veggie dog. You like veggie dogs? No. Why not? Actually, I never tried them before. You wanna try one? No! This for the bevy. What you think about the veggie dog? The veggie dog is really good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. That jump banging? It's nice, especially since we got all the toppings for it today. Okay, okay. What, what type? What? No, I'm stuttering. Fuck. What type of toppings do I put on? So it already comes pre-made. It's pickle red cabbage, crispy onions, and sweet spicy mustard. Sheesh. That shit sounds exquisite, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. See, even though the pizza's sitting out, y'all, it don't look like 7-Eleven pizza. You know how the 7-Eleven shit be looking like super duper crispy and burnt and old. They don't look like that. You feel me? You see him adding them ingredients to that veggie dog? Damn. 
we gonna see what's up with their coffee real quick. You know what I'm saying? You never can go wrong with coffee in the morning. All right, y'all, so we gonna start out with the coffee. So if you come in here off the early in the morning time, I'm gonna let y'all know this is the place to get the coffee from. Kind of strong a little bit. I need to add a little bit more sugar, a little bit more cream. But I feel like I could hook it up a little bit, y'all. I've had better coffee, but it's not the worst. Now let's jump into the pizza, y'all. What the hell? What is this? Let's jump into the pizza. So it's not too cheesy. As y'all see, you can still see the tomato sauce through the cheese. So it's not like a whole lot of cheese on top of it. Looking at the dough, definitely looks like freezer pizza. You know what I mean? Definitely got this at the freezer section. Let's see what it tastes like. So the dough is kind of hard. The pizza sauce isn't bad, but it's definitely not top tier pizza, which really saddens me because people told me that the food here was great and I was going to really enjoy it. But this is pretty much just food to hold you over, if you know what I mean. Like you go shopping, you want to grab a quick little snack, and you're like, I can't, I can't make it to go grab some food from somewhere else. But yeah, I, I probably wouldn't buy this pizza again. I wouldn't buy this. Last but not least, y'all, we got this veggie dog. You see how it's looking, y'all. Sheesh. They got this bad boy loaded. Got a decent scent. Doesn't smell bad. What's the inside looking like? So, the veggie dog is really sweet, y'all. I think it's like honey mustard or something that he put on this. The mustard is extremely sweet. Got some crispy onions on top of it. And strangely, the veggie dog is the best thing I've tried here so far. And you would think it's disgusting. It's a freaking veggie dog. Look at this. Not bad. I'm definitely trying to watch my weight, y'all. So I'm trying to find like alternatives when I want to go out to eat. Veggie dog's cool. I give it a solid seven out of ten. Pizza, pizza gonna get like a five. Mac and cheese upstairs, probably a three. Coffee, probably a six. Pepsi. Sheesh. Pepsi gonna get a nine. And this ain't made by Ikea. No, but we have to get out of the car. So we'll Ooh. Burning my well, neck. This is some spicy Pepsi. Well, I don't care. Did you hear the dude behind me? He was like, well, you know, I think I go to the car gear. Dude was a fucking meme. All right, y'all, so I'm leaving the Ikea right now. I'm going to be honest. I think it was kind of overrated. And we talking about, like, buying the furniture and stuff like that. You're going to find phenomenal deals, not going to lie to you. Better deals than Walmart. So, like, it's good for the furniture. But if you go in there for food, bro, get a fucking life.